Hello girlfriends and welcome to my video. I am Mickey B. Have we met? If not, it is nice to meet you. I'm glad you joined me today and I hope you are doing your hair along with me today. Today is Wednesday of week eight and we are going to just do a midweek refresh. As you can see, I have already moisturized my hair and the reason that I do this now in addition to trying to save time um, recording time but it's also good to allow your hair if it's a little you know dry to uh, soak up some of the moisture so it's easier and you know to deal with it's it's ready to be dealt with it's more pliable so instead of it being dry it's like I allow the the mixture to soak into my hair let my hair you know kind of take it in before I start messing with it so that's what you see here and so let's go ahead and jump in since we're doing just a quick refresh today it shouldn't take too long but I want to get my comb here because I wanted to fix this part down the middle there's a little part where it wasn't exactly all the way straight kind of been bugging me a little so I just want to make sure that the part is straight down. Didn't have to be perfect but I just want it to be a little bit better than what it's been so let's give that a look. I guess. Okay, so as you see, I have pre-moisturized my hair, let, the, let it soak in for a little bit, and now I'm going to go ahead and get this process done really quickly tonight, so we don't have to be here for too long. And if you know you're going to do your hair, like the night that you're going to do your hair and you know you're going to do it, just go ahead and take it out and what did I do with that clip? The disappearing clip. So if you know you're going to do your hair, just go ahead and take it out. If it's in braids or twists, untwist, unbraid or whatever it is you do and um, go ahead and moisturize it and just see how it's all nice and moist right now and ready to be manipulated because it's pliable and it's been fed prior to any um, activity that you're about to have with it or any friction or I'm not sure the exact word I'm looking for but you get the idea before you're gonna uh, mess with your hair you want it to be ready to be to receive that activity even though we're only doing it twice a week these hairs just don't want to fall off okay so let's go ahead and just get this started I'm gonna do this like this today I just put it on the back of my hand so I don't have to keep reaching into the jar just want to be real quick about it I have been doing a lot better with the Jamaican black castor oil and putting it on my edges twice a day when I wake up and before I go to bed. So I'm excited to see if that's going to make any difference. Uh, 
in my progress. So I'm pointing it out now so I can, so we can all kind of monitor the situation. Now let's get some of this hair food in between. Again, just doing big chunks. And I'm doing right now what I told you, said is not good to do and that's rush. So let me just calm down. I want to do big parts in here. And you see it's because I've been doing like that in my scalp. It's getting a little not matted but it's not as detangled in there. So it's not as easy for me to pull it together. I mean to pull it together, to pull it apart to get to um, my scalp. So that's why I'm kind of going light and going easy because I really am not in the mood to be super thorough and really get in between those parts right now. But I am just going to work it in there with my hands pretty good. And this isn't going to be long at all tonight. I'm just going to take my mixture here, give it a little mix because it's getting to the bottom again. So I'm going to start off with scooping some into my hand. I'm just going to do an overall from the bottom. I'll work my way up and then I'll pull some pull it apart and get it into cer certain specific sections. Oh, I just feel a little off tonight. Like, what is the problem? I know what it is. It's what it always is. It's, I'm tired and I don't feel like doing it, but I'm doing it because tonight is Wednesday and I need to get it done. So I'm doing a quick condensed version of it. And again, it's okay to do that as long as you're doing something. You don't have to be super thorough every time, but as you see, my hair is definitely getting attended to tonight. It's getting fed, it's getting moisturized, and I'm being gentle. Okay, so I fed my scalp just very lightly. Now I'm feeding my hair and locking in moisture for adding moisture. Or I added moisture, fed my scalp. Now I'm feeding my hair. That's more of what I'm doing. And then I'm going to lock in the moisture. Braid it up and then address my edges. this on that side. So now I'm going to lock in the moisture. Oh, one thing I'm adding on here you guys, I'm adding in shea butter and then I'm going to put the grease on top of that. Shea butter is a little heavier and I think I would like that weight that the shea butter, the additional weight that the shea butter is going to add to this situation and then I'll do the grease atop the shea butter to give it some shine. With the shea butter also the weight of it will help to um, help it lay down a little better than the grease because it's definitely heavier and more. It's thicker heavier and it has that uh, ability to help the hair lay down a little better than the grease because that grease is more like a dressing, a hair dressing. It's not heavy, so it doesn't hold it down for as long as I believe the shea butter will. Now when I wrap it up at night and take it off, of course it's nice and flat but it doesn't stay that way throughout the day. So I'm hoping that the shea butter is going to help with that. I'm going to make 
sure I get some nice good some nice good amount of shea butter especially on the ends too oh that's a lot right there you can see it make sure if you ever do plan to use shea butter that you rub it in your hands really well first so it can melt doesn't look white like that when you put it on your hair. So now this little bit of grease on top of the shea butter is not going to be that much. Just a little for the whole section. One right there, that right there. Bring it down there. Because obviously the shea butter is a better product to use than the grease. More natural. All right, so now this is ready to be braided. But you know, before I do that, I think I wanna go ahead and do the castor oil. So that way I don't have to manipulate it after I'm done. And now for the castor oil, I'm just gonna use this little brush here. Let's do it this way so it doesn't drip everywhere. So I'm take this little brush Put it in there. Let's go ahead down the middle. Now, I just saw something drip. Did I not show you Baldy today? I don't think I did. See, I'm trying not to rush. Like, slow down, Mickey V down. I think I need a bigger brush though. That would help. This is just a brush I had in here and I'm trying to give a purpose. This has been sitting here forever. But I mainly want to just focus up here in the front anyways, just in this temple area. Everything else seems to be pretty okay. All right, so that's the castor oil. Now, put that in just a hair. Okay, now I can go ahead and braid up this side. And then we'll move on to side number two. Now I can hear smooshy. I don't know if you can hear that, probably not. <laughs> but I can hear the moisture. So this is definitely, it'll, it'll be interesting to see if this adding the shea butter gives me that much more time of my hair being moist versus what I'm already getting. I know tomorrow it will definitely be nice and moist, but I'm curious to see if I get like two to three days of my hair feeling really moist and you know so when I take it out on Sunday it will still be uh, nice and not wet or anything but nice and soft moist but not damp you know what I mean like not dry still pliable so we'll see how this works I've used shea butter in the past, so I know my hair likes it. It always has. It's never not liked shea butter. Um, but I've been watching a bunch of uh, videos and just a lot of hair videos just going, my own included as well as just some older videos on YouTube. And I've just been getting refreshed on a lot of the old techniques that people used back in the day when the natural hair community was booming, had just started booming. So I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I saw someone using shea butter, and I'm like, oh yeah, I have a big old tub of shea butter, so I'll just add that in since I have it. So that's why I'm doing it tonight. So there's one side down. Look at the definition though. Wow. Okay, I always say that, don't I? 
Now, I don't know if you guys notice, you probably haven't, and you probably won't unless I say something, but I just think it's pretty funny and something that might be helpful to someone. So I'm gonna say something. I don't know if you noticed, but you remember how I told you my fingernails are growing out? Let me get this hair off the ground. <laughs> So I can stop looking down thinking it's a spider or something. Okay, so you know how I've been telling you my fingernails are growing out. And this one started to break on the side right here. And I was like, oh no. Let me show you Baldy first before I forget. Another front shot like that. So this one, this pinky, was starting to break across the side. And it was one of those right in the corner, right at the weak spot. And, but it's on this side. So I've been trying to figure out a way to preserve it because where it was uh, breaking, it hadn't grown out to that point yet, but it was on its way out. And once it got there, I knew it was going to rip right off. So I've been trying to figure out ways to fix it and what I came up with was I had purchased from the Dollar Tree, they had a pack of nail tips, you get 80 of them in it and so because I was trying to figure out like I was putting a band-aid around it and that wasn't helping and then I had some of those uh, nail, what do they call those, they're like, they're not stickers but you can put them over it's like a you just like it's you peel off and it's the shape of a nail and you peel it off and it's sticky and you just cover up your nail I forgot what they call them but I tried that and that didn't work so I'm like I need to come up with something that can be like you know like when you break your leg and you put a cast on it so I took those uh, nail tips and I glued one on top of it if I do it like this you can see it but it's like a, a the perfect band-aid and it just fixed everything so if you have a nail that's breaking and you don't want it to break because all your other nails have grown out and then it would be the only one making your hand look a little wonky if it's your real nails then if you have some nail tips handy if you see them at the Dollar Tree just buy you a pack of those and it doesn't look perfect but it's better than losing the nail. So now this nail can grow out protected. Tangles up in here today. Your nail can grow out protected and it won't, a, a weak spot is no longer weak. You've strengthened it with that fake nail tip. Even though the tip is supposed to just be on the tip up here. I've got it all the way down so it can support that whole little area. And the nail is the length of my actual nail so it's not adding any length to my nail. It's just covering the whole nail giving it a support. So if you look underneath, my nail is that length. So I cut the tip right where the nail uh, ends. But yeah, I just figured I'd share that little tip. I'm sure it's not new for a lot of people, but it's new to me because it worked, number one. And number two, <clears throat> I didn't think to do it initially. Initially, I thought that little sticky nail thing was going to work better because I thought it would be like a, a band-aid, but like just stuck on there, but it didn't provide any amount of support at all. So. I was like, well, I guess I have to try this nail tip. And I didn't want to do that first because it was so much thicker than the nail and I thought it would just look kind of really retarded. But once I did it and I put the polish on, you can't really tell unless it's pointed out. So if I just, you know, doing like this, you can't really see that it's on there, but you can see it at that point. But for the most part, it's a good idea. It's a good fix. And it's just until my natural nail grows past that point and I can trim it and not worry about um, it breaking. Because I hate when they break too uh, at that area, at the weak spot. 
because sometimes they can break off too deep into your nail and end up being sore or create you know a problem because it you know possibly an ingrown nail or anything like that so I was happy with that fix it like I said to me it looks amazing because I was able to keep my nail and I did it if you do something like that you want to do it before your nail gets too weak gets too weak at the point or grows out too much to where that break is at the breaking point where if you hit it it really will come off and I was getting close to that point so I had to figure out plan B when plan A didn't work but it's a good uh, little remedy and I use the brush on nail glue that they sell at the Dollar Tree. I use the tips that they sell at the Dollar Tree and then the polish I already had and that probably was from my couponing days because I have tons of nail polish from when I was couponing. So yeah, I'll let you know how it pans out. Now when I'm washing dishes and stuff and I'm near water with the exception of this, like I wanted to wear gloves tonight, but I, I like to feel my hair when I'm working with my hair. So, or else I would have put on gloves, but it gets all, that's the one thing, when your nails get long, crap just gets up under them, and I hate that, and I'm always cleaning them out, because I think it's very disgusting and unsanitary, if you don't, because stuff can't collect under there so easily. But, um... When I'm washing the dishes and so, you know putting my hand in water where it's going to be there for a while, I make sure I wear my gloves and I do whatever I can to make sure it's just not soaking in water because I want this to last as long as it possibly can. So I was happy with that little bang up, rigged up fix that I came up with. And they probably do this at nail salons, I'm sure. If you get your nails done at a nail salon and you have a situation like that, what would they do for your nails? Do they have something where they put on your nail like this to cover it, to kind of band-aid it until it grows out? And if they do, does it work? Is it effective? Because I would imagine a nail shop must have something. I know I'm not the only one who's had this situation. You know, but most people who go to nail shops are getting fake nails too, so maybe it's not that common as I think. All right, so I'm just trying to pull out some of the, trying to smooth it out some because I feel like it's got tangles up in it more than normal. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and smoosh in some shea butter. I want to make sure this part is getting good coverage. I'm trying to keep it off of my scalp. Alright, get some shea butter right here. Rub this in real good. The only thing about shea butter, you gotta rub it, rub it, rub it. If it's not summertime anymore, you gotta make sure, see, that stuff melts. Or else you can put a big glob on your hair like that. That body heat. And then let the rest of the melting happen on your hair. So this whole thing, you gotta be patient. I'm not being really patient tonight because I just really was a forced job tonight because I had to edit a video. I worked a full day had to walk the dog, cook dinner, and did some cleaning around the house. Remember I told you I have so many projects going on. I went out and trimmed a, one of my hedges. So I'm trying to fit in a little bit of stuff every day so these projects aren't just sitting there. And I miss it when I don't have time to wind down. So when I get to my last project of the day, which is normally this, on a Wednesday or a Sunday, it's like, ah. And what I should do is 
<laughs> you know that saying, keep that same energy. I need to, uh, when I'm energized, is when I need to just come straight away and do my hair instead of try to sit down and relax first because that's when I really don't want to do it. Got this stuff flying on the walls over here. Gee, what's that? house cleaning real quick. My shea butter flew on my wall. Probably from my fingernails or something. Alright, so last thing I'm going to do is castor oil. Let's get this spoon out of here. And just rub this in there. Should have took this out earlier from my other mixture. I feel like I'm making a mess tonight and I feel very off tonight. I don't know why. I mean, I do know why, but it's worse tonight than any night I've done this. I have to put the grease on. This is the grease. Okay. Yeah, I'm just feeling just ready to go to bed going to bed late for the last two nights and I've been feeling it when I'm waking up to go to work. Sometimes I want to take that alarm clock which is my phone and throw it up against the wall. But no, I have to get up, go to the computer. So that I'm more awake at night. Like right now, if I was caught up on everything, I would have been able to just relax, watch a movie, and then go to bed. But I've been non-stop all day, and that's what I'm feeling right now. I haven't had my wind down time, and I'm really, really, really missing it. So that's why I'm, this process is very choppy tonight, because... I feel like I'm all over the place with it because I'm doing what I said I is not a good idea to do and that's rushing. And I know not to do it, but I keep doing it. <laughs> so let's get this castor oil on here. I don't want to touch it again. I just wipe my hand off. Ooh. So I'm hoping this is really going to help my edges wake up and prosper. I mean, they're not the worst, they're just very thinned out in that one temple section. So I'm just going to do that bare minimum right there. Swish it down. I see how it's sticking a lot better with that shea butter. Grease never would uh, have it lay down this much. And notice I didn't even brush it tonight. It's just my hands rubbing it and the shea butter on it. So I like it so far. I think I'll continue to do it moving forward. I'm just glad I don't have to deep condition tonight. And on Sunday, early. I'll wait for the end of the day. Stop torturing myself. And when you have the energy, when you have the right energy, you do this on the right energy, it doesn't feel long at all. It feels quick. But when your energy is off and you're dreading it, it just feels like, oh, I can't wait for this to be done. And it's the same amount of time. <laughs> it's so crazy. So... I'm just in that state of mind tonight. You know, this is just what it is. This is how, it's, how it is sometimes. Sometimes you just, the whole discipline, you just gotta stick to it. There'll be some good days, and there'll be some bad days. I've had some good days. You know that song? 